so we're going to be looking at some um, things you need to know before you get a 5g network in nigeria today so the 5g network is the fifth generation of cellular network technology and it is still in its early stages of development in nigeria however there are a number of 5g networks already operating in nigeria uh, and more are expected to be rolled out in the coming years so the two main telecommunication operators in nigeria that are currently offering the 5g network services are um, the mtn and airtel so um, the MTN launched its 5G network in September 2022 and Airtel launched its own uh, just last month, which is June 2023. Both operators offer 5G services in a limited number of cities, but definitely they are expected to expand as um, their coverage in the coming months and years. So the advantages of 5G in Nigeria are significant and they have, have the potential to transform the country's economy and society. For example, the 5G can be used to improve education, healthcare, and transportation. And it can also be used to create new jobs and new businesses for um, the teeming Nigerian youths. Welcome to another interesting episode of iMedia Podcast. This is a production of iMedia Digital Hub. And this is a place where we produce content on business and technology. My name is Shamsuddin Abdurazai Girado. On today's episode of iMedia Podcast, uh, we, will go, we will be looking at things you need to know uh, before you get a 5G network in Nigeria. So let's get into it. On number one, we have faster speed. So 5G can theoretically reach um, the speed of up to 10 gigabyte per seconds, which is that it is 100 times uh, faster uh, than the 4G network and this means that you can download large files in seconds. You can stream high definition videos like the HD videos without buffering so without it um, maybe how to rotate or, just, or without it um, wasting time while you're watching. So and um, you can also play an online game with Lego little lag time so you know when you're playing online game there is this lag time there's this a bit drawing back a bit or making it so stiff and not moving at the pace you want but with 5g network it moves so fast that you will feel that it is actually real time so that's one of um, the advantage of uh, um, the 5g network on number two we have low latency so when you talk about latency it is the time it takes for a signal to travel from one point to another and for you to understand it better 5g has more uh, as much lower latency than the 4g so this means that application that require real-time communications um, such as um, self-driving cars remote surgery can be more reliable and efficient so what that simply means is when you need something that is actually real time that you can be seeing it or you're communicating with somebody in real time uh, this particular one will not so it has low latency so it won't actually waste time uh, before you get it so it makes it faster and um, it is more efficient and more reliable number three is um, it has greater capacity 5G can support more devices uh, connected to the network at the same time than the 4G network. And this is important for applications such as um, Internet of Things, where there are large numbers of devices that are needed to uh, be connected to the network. So this one makes it, um, for example, you have a phone. Um, it makes things easier. So if you are connected to an Internet or you are connected to a Wi-Fi, for example, so you it, it is very fast so unlike um, the 4g network or the 3g network whereby it is slower or maybe the data uh, is not um, distributed evenly so on number four you have a um, new um, use cases so 5g's um, is uh, speed um, it has faster speed lower latency and greater capacity um, it enables new use cases and when you talk about new use cases um, what we're talking uh, that are not possible, we're talking about things that are not possible previous um, with generation of cellular networks. So this includes virtual reality. So 5G makes virtual reality easier. So, you know, uh, we have what we call um, the VR and the augmented reality where you put on um, the lens and you are able to um, possibly view games or see it takes you to another level. So when you have actually um, used uh, virtual reality, you'll be able to understand how it is so these are one of the things that 5g makes it easier because 5g's high bandwidth and low latency makes it uh, possible for 
or for you to stream high quality VR and um, AR content without any lag time. And um, on number five, we have um, remote surgery. So another thing that's another advantage of um, the 5G network is uh, um, that like we talked about the the 5G network's low latency makes it um, possible for you to control um, surgical robots in real time, um, even from long distance. So a situation whereby uh, maybe the, the patient is here in Nigeria and maybe um, the person that is controlling it is, um, is somewhere in the UK or, or in India and um, you are able to have um, the robot to actually work on it and actually um, operate it on real time so it makes it easier and um, it also reduce um, what we call as um, um, the travel the health tourism where people travel from one country to another just to say okay they want to seek medical attention on um so we talk about self-driving cars so which is another uh one which um we talked about um the self-driving cars so the 5g high bandits and low uh, latency enables um self-driving cars to communicate with each other and uh very faster so the full potential of the 5g network is yet to uh, be realized in Nigeria, but the early signs are promising and uh, definitely as um, the 5G uh, network continues to be rolled out, um, Nigeria is well positioned to benefit from these technology and many more um, advantages that it comes with. However, there are also some challenges that need to uh, be addressed uh, before the 5G can reach its full potential. So, the, um, so some of these um, challenges include um, high cost, so 5G networks are uh, more uh, expensive uh, to build and uh, operate than the 4G network. So it means that uh, these can take more time for the 5G networks to uh, become widely available in Nigeria. So like we said earlier, very, very, very uh, small city, very small few cities in Nigeria. You have Lagos, Abuja and a, a few other cities that have already have um, the, the infrastructure to operate um, the, the 5G networks and only very, very um, limited available um, available 5G enabled devices. Only very few um, devices are currently in the country that are 5G enabled. So majority of the um, devices, the phones, um, the gadgets and every other things we use currently, they are still limited to the 4G network and very few are 5G enabled currently. So currently there are a limited number of 5G enabled devices available in Nigeria and this means you may not be able to use um, the 5G even if it is available in your area. So another one is um, because of how fast it is, um, the telecom operators now are putting data caps. So they are putting um, limitations to, uh, uh, to the data on every data 5G plans. So which means that you may not be able uh, to use much data as you can use it on the 4G network. And despite these challenges, the future of 5G in Nigeria is bright and technology continues um, to develop and um, the cost of 5G networks comes down. So 5G is expected to uh, become more widely available and um, affordable in Nigeria and this will open up a wide range of possibilities for businesses and individuals alike. So when are you getting your next 5G enabled device? So let us get to hear from you and I hope you got value from this video. I would love to share your interactions of if you've actually interacted with any of the 5G network or if the 5G network is available within your community. Many thanks for watching today's episode of iMedia Podcast. Until next time when we come, I am saying bye-bye. My name still remains Shamsuddin Abdurazai Girado.